Hi, this is Wes Fryer. It is September the 28th, 2011. I'm in Yarmouth, Maine with Amy Sanders. And we're going to talk a little bit about a very exciting project called Arab Spring. And first, let me just ask you, how did you get interested in the Middle East? And what was sort of the genesis of the Arab Spring project? Um, I have been interested in the Middle East for a long time since I was a college student um, and have been teaching this class at Yarmouth High School for about seven years. And um, with I was fortunate to have a chance to go to Egypt last year, right after the revolution, and had a chance to talk with Egyptian colleagues and students and really wanted to think about a way that our students might connect to um, Egyptian students, have a chance to dialogue with them about their experiences in the revolution, and also um, have a chance to learn about the protest movements that were sweeping through the Arab world. So we talked a little earlier about some pretty powerful interactions you had with students in Egypt. And, um, I mean, this is, this is a very dynamic situation there. There are lots of issues, um, you know, mainly probably in the Middle East for those who would participate and comment. And we're going to talk later about how you're soliciting and interested in comments. Can you tell us a little bit, without naming names, what was really powerful about what happened in Egypt with regard to video you brought and reactions that students had? And when was any of that surprising to you? Just tell a little bit about that, if you would. Well, I took a videotape of my students commenting on the revolution and asking questions of students in Egypt. I shared that with them, and it was a really um, wonderful way to break the ice for them to realize that students in other parts of the world were thinking about the revolution, watching it, um, and they asked me to film their responses to some of the student questions, and they asked questions of their own. So I felt there was a really strong desire for students to connect with one another, um, and have an opportunity to continue that dialogue that was sort of be that began through video. And if you're watching this video, we're going to actually record several pieces, and we'd invite you to check out the other pieces where we'll talk about the project and how you can get involved.